Shalom Yeshua, first and foremost, I'm to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to those Le'akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, alone to is like foreigner brothers that like the heathens, with the lion and false side goes back to nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes? Latinos and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is really a call, a month for the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, The Elect Men of the Lord Will Be Stable in Jacob's Trouble. I'm just going to go on some precepts and uh, a little warning. You brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, and uh, before I start the lesson, you know, I define the word stable. Stable. Which means of a person sane and sensible, not easily upset or disturbed. Uh, well balanced, balanced, sound, mentally sound, of sound mind. Uh, sane, normal, right in the head. Able to think slash reason clearly, right. You know, and then will be the traits that the elect men and Lord will have, you know, in Jacob's trouble. You know, because... Um, we read Second Thessalonians 2 and 1 says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter from nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Right, man. You know, so the elect, they're not going to be soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word. Because why? Because they're expecting <clears throat> all hell to break loose, you know, according to the prophecies, you know. And like Apostle Bar often says, you know, no one is half the battle, you know. So the elect will know these things, knowing that, you know, all hell won't break loose. It's going to be a famine. It's going to be pestilence, race wars very soon. So-called white men are going to come down with great wrath. By way of his military troops, it's going to be military checkpoints. You know, we know all these things. So, you know, it's not going to shake us up because, you know, we know we expecting these things to happen according to the prophecies. You know, now, of course, you know, but being in the flesh, you know, we're going to have, we know the Lord got us. But, you know, uh, being in that, you know, uh, you know, sometimes we can get fearful, you know, but. What reassures us is to know that, hey, you know, what well, the Lord did, what comforts us is to know that, hey, the Lord did say this was going to happen. So once we, you know, apply apply that scripture, you know, not apply it, but, you know, be comf comforted with that scripture, then, you know, uh, we, we had that will uh, increase our faith, you see. And when you go to Proverbs 24 and verse 5, it says, a wise man is strong. Yeah, a man of knowledge increases strength, right? So this is talking about the elect men of the Lord, you know, because uh, the elect men of the Lord are the true high value men on the earth because they have this, this knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by strong side and know the future prophecies before they unfold, before, before they be made manifest in the earth. So the elect are high valuable men, you know, because when you read Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yeah, so the wisdom and knowledge is what's going to keep the elect stable in the times of Jacob's trouble is going to be the wisdom and knowledge out of the scriptures. And when you read that word, uh, define the word stability in the Hebrew, it's uh, from the Hebrew word Amawana, which means uh, faith. You know, which Amawana, this will be the feminine way of saying faith. The masculine way is I'm a one, you know, which is faith, trusty, you know. So the knowledge and understanding is going to be the men of the Lord's uh, faith in the time in Jacob's trouble, you know. It says, in strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Yeah, so the fear of Yahweh by Shimon Shai is his treasure, man, you know, because, hey, that's the beginning of wisdom. You know, according to Psalms, because the love the Lord loves when He have His people fear Him. You know, <clears throat> Psalms one eleven to ten says the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. So yeah, so through the fear of Yahweh by Shimon Shai is the beginning of wisdom. 
you know, and that's um, when you go into the word fear, it's from the Hebrew word Yahweh, which means uh, a fear of Yahweh, respect, reverence, piety. So fear goes into respect. You know, ultimately you respect Yahweh Shemoshai by, you know, keeping his laws and commandments to the best of your ability. You know, you have a healthy fear of the Lord. You're not out here uh, committing adultery and, you know, doing, uh, being a nigga off camera. You're not doing those things because do, because you acknowledge that the Lord can jack you up. You see, it says a good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise endure forever. Right. You know, so the elect has that good understanding because they know once you keep the lost commandments, you know, is is it benefits you, you know. You know, and 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 the and it doesn't just stop at the you know the five books of, of the law. You know, you have you know wisdom and Ecclesiastes and Proverbs and Psalms throughout the whole Bible. You know, uh, Sirach and the Apocrypha, Wisdom and Solomon. You know, so all those, <clears throat> all that wisdom of the scriptures, man, is what gonna keep the elect stable. You see. And we go to Second Ezra sixteen and verse seventy four. Hear, O you my beloved. Now, whenever the scripture says beloved, you know, it's talking about the elect of Israel, you know, because that's what uh, King David David uh, name means in the Hebrew, beloved, which means uh, da -ba -da, you know, and the elect are of the house of David. You see, it says here, O you my beloved, say of the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the saints. So that's comfort right there. So yeah, the days of trouble are at hand. Jacob's trouble. But the Lord said, I will deliver you from the saint. You know, we know the Lord's going to only going to deliver the elect. And the Lord will be a part of that. So, you know, we have hope. It says, be not afraid, neither, neither doubt, for your Yahweh is your God. Yeah, so, you know, we shouldn't be afraid, you know, because we expect these things to happen. And at the end of the day, Yahweh by Shemar Shah is our God, man. You know, he's going to be channeling his spirit upon us to make certain moves at certain uh, certain right times, you know, guiding us, you know. You know, you might be going, in, in Jacob's show, you might be going to a, a, a certain direction, and, you know, the Lord can, um, you know, spirit of the Lord hops on you, like, nah, don't go there. You know, but that would be the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Moshiach guiding you. You see, just an example of that, you know. It says, and the guide them who keep my commandments and precepts. So that proves that the loss of commandments is not done away with. So the elect in the last days, they will keep and they will be rehearsing the righteous acts, as is written. Sev ye how about Shemoshai, let not your sins weigh you down. So, yeah, you know, we not supposed to let our sins weigh us down, you know. Uh, weigh us down, uh, you know, you're not supposed to let it, let it weigh us down for not... Uh, to stop us from worshiping Yahweh by Shemoshai. Yeah, you know, we know, you know, the creature was subject to vanity. So we were subject to go off. So, but that's not an excuse to just, you know, uh, follow the truth and, you know, don't have those sins weigh you down to cause you to fall out. You know, you got to keep going. You see, it says, and let not your iniquities lift up, up themselves. Yeah, so with balance also, though, let your iniquities, which are your sins, lift themselves up. You know, don't be out here sinning willfully, man. You know, committing adultery willfully. You know, worshiping other gods willfully. You know, say, oh, I got grace. The Lord going to forgive me. Like, nah, you can't be in that spirit, man. You know, so we got to have a healthy fear of the Lord. You know, so, so yeah. But the point I wanted to get was in verse 75, you know, Yahweh by small size going to be our guide in Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and when you read Isaiah 41 and 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Yes, so do the words of comfort, you know. Yahweh by Shimon Shah is with us at the end of the day. You know, so we're not supposed to fear. It says, Be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee. Yes, so Yahweh by Shimon Shah, he was our God, he will strengthen us, man. You know, just like in the time of Yahweh Shah's, um, when he was on it, before he went on the cross, you know, um, he was sweating blood and stuff, man. You know, but the Lord has strengthened you. And for Yahweh has sent angels to strengthen his son, Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, to strengthen him. You know, so the Lord can do that to us as well. You know, we might be in the spirit of agony, like, oh, man, you know, because we in the flesh, you know. So, you know, 
But the Lord said he's going to strengthen us, man. You know? He says, yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Which is Yahweh Shai, man. So the Lord is going to help us, man. You know? So at the end of the day, we got to, you know, Psalm 56, I believe. Uh, Psalms 56 and 11 says, And Yahweh have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Right, man. So at the end of the day, we're going to trust in Yahweh by Shimon Shai and not be afraid what what Esau can do to us, man, or these people in Jacob's trouble. Because we understand that everything is at the will of the Lord. So if it's meant to happen, if it happened, then it, 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 it was meant. You know, because everything is sanctioned by Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. So, so, uh, so yeah, I kind of told him to kill us on that. You know, uh, the elect, men of the Lord will be stable in Jacob's trouble. You know, nothing's going to move the men of the Lord, man. They're going to be well-rooted in the truth, you know. And I just, and I'm for now, you know, uh, who's Colossians 3? Let's see, uh. Maybe two. Bro? Yeah. Bro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, you doing me? Yeah. Oh, so okay. Oh, so okay. Come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Um, Colossians 2 and verse um, 6 and 7. As you have received, therefore, your house shall mash out the Lord, so walking in him. Uh, rooted and built them in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So this is going to apply to the elect. You know, they're going to be rooted and built up and established in the faith in Yahweh Shai, man. And nothing's going to move them in the times of Jacob's trouble. So, you know, Lord will I act as edified. And uh, until next time, Shalom.